Aloha friends, my name is Marie McKenzie, Geography Instructor at Leeward Community College. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to do-it-yourself natural deodorant with all clean natural ingredients and you can do it in your own kitchen. Let's get started! Joining me is sustainability activist Kelly Williams. She also teaches biology at University of Hawaii, West Oahu, and she's very passionate about making the world plastic free. Right on Kelly! So, what do we have here? So today we're gonna try to make a sustainable deodorant and there's a couple reasons for it. One is we wanna stay plastic free, right? So this way you can use a reusable jar, you can get a glass jar, you can use one that you've already had at home, whatever it might be, but you're avoiding buying more plastic from the store. And two is most deodorants that you get from the store are not natural deodorants. So they have aluminum and other toxins in there that aren't necessarily really good for your body. So this kind of takes all of that out of the equation and it's something that you can do really easy at home by yourself. And once you get everything, it is actually much cheaper. So for the sustainable deodorant, the ingredients we're gonna be using are one, coconut oil. This coconut oil has lavender, calendula, and chamomile infused in it over the last few weeks. You can see it's just in a reused pasta jar. Um, you don't have to infuse your own oil. You can just use regular coconut oil like you get from the store, but I wanted to infuse this just because it makes it a little bit better smelling and it gives it some calming and antibacterial properties as well. Uh, essential oils that we're going to be using today are lemongrass, lavender, and tea tree oil. You can use whatever scents that you would want to put into your own deodorant. I like these three together. We're also going to be using beeswax, shea butter, arrowroot powder, and baking soda. So most of these things are things that you can get from the store. Some of them are a little bit less common, but once you have them, you'll be able to make deodorant for probably years. Now we're going to measure out the ingredients that we need for the deodorant. The first one that I usually measure out is the beeswax. We're gonna use about eight grams of beeswax. I put it in here and then I'm gonna microwave it first since it has a higher melting point than the shea butter and we'll add the shea butter once it starts to melt a little bit so we can get it blending together. To the microwave, add a few minutes until we see it all melted. Now that we have the shea butter and beeswax completely melted, we're going to add equal parts baking soda and arrowroot powder. We're gonna add about a quarter cup plus two tablespoons of each. Okay. And then finally, we're gonna add some oil. So we're gonna add about six to seven tablespoons of our coconut oil. If you infused it, even better. If not, that's okay. But since I infused it, I'm gonna put some cheesecloth over it to dump it in. So again, about six to seven tablespoons. I'm probably gonna do about six and a half. Now that we have all of the ingredients added, you're just gonna make sure that you mix it up really well. Make sure you're getting out all of those clumps that are in the deodorant. All right. Once it cools down a little bit, then we can add all of our essential oils. Now we're gonna pour it into the jars. This one is kind of a little more clumpy than usual, but that's okay when you're putting it on as deodorant, it's all going to dissolve in anyways. So this batch here is probably gonna fill to maybe three containers and that should last you a few months. Mahalo Kelly for teaching us how to make natural deodorants. It smells so good. And I could show you some right now. Yeah, you could. <laughs> but this is the deodorant. It does take a little bit to harden, not too long, and it will basically be like a lotion. Um, when you do use it, please keep in mind if you've never used natural deodorant before that your body may go through sort of a detoxing. They do sell detox bars or you can make some. Maybe we'll make a video about detoxing sure. your armpits. But just keep that in mind. Your body may react a little bit weird to baking soda or something like that too. So if you're shaving your armpits or anything, maybe don't put it on right away. And just expect that your body's going to change a little bit as you switch from the more toxic and plastic deodorant to your natural deodorant. Also, please check out the other videos. 